Hello, everybody. This is Gerald Salenti, and it's Thursday, August 8th, 2024. And here are some of today's trends in the news. And remember, the trend is your friend. That's right. We're giving you what nobody else is giving you. Yep. History before it happens. Nobody gives geopolitical, socioeconomic, high-tech science, technocracy. Yeah, we got the technocracy cat, man. The synthetic devolution. Joe Duran, plus much, much more. Hey, this shows you the bullshit stupidity that the masses suck up and believe. Total, total. That was bullshit. Times Company reports 13.6% jump in profits and more subscribers. I get the toilet paper record every day. It averages like $4 a day if you buy it, and I think it's 6 or $7 on the, on the weekend on Sunday. We barely get an article or two out of the entire magazine. We're giving you the Trends Journal for $2.56 a week, over 200 pages. But this is the shit. This is the shit that the people are swallowing. Some fucking prostitute scumbags. Oh, the Times? Oh, you remember them aluminum tubes, don't you? That, that Saddam Hussein was getting at masses, weapons of mass destruction. Yeah. Warmongering fucking pricks. Oh, I better be careful. I can't be a peace can. I can't be the warrior for peace anymore, the prince of peace. They may kill me. Hey, did you see what happened in the FBI? Raided Scott Ritter's house? That's right. Oh, you know why? They, they say, I guess he, he works for uh, Sputnik and RT. You're not allowed to work for another country's news agencies that America doesn't like, apparently. And he's anti-war. I'm anti-war. And, you know, I've gotten death threats. And the fucking scumbag pricks up here, the DA... They did state troopers. They did shit for me. Shit for me. Yeah. My name was Salentowitz and I was Jewish. And they were going to try to kill me. Oh, that'd be different. But I'm just a little giddy from the Bronx. Fuck off. So they may come after me too. Because I'm having a September 28th Occupy Peace Rally and Scott Ritter is one of the speakers along with Judge Napolitano. Max Blumenthal, Anya Parampil, and others. Anti-war is not allowed. You're a fucking anti-Semite if you're against Israel's genocide. So, going on to the markets, whew, you don't, yeah, and, and hit that subscribe button, let's get to, because they're going to censor us. There's no question about it. Because this war is going to ramp up in the Middle East it, and and it's and and Ukraine, and we'll get into that, and have been getting into that. So share this thing. So the S and P five hundred not, knocks it, notches up its best day since twenty twenty two, as Wall Street claws its way back from Monday. That's the headline on CNBC, which is total bullshit detected. Take precaution. Yep. The S and P advanced two point three percent. Dow went up almost 700 points. NASDAQ, 2.87%. Oh, because the numbers, the jobless numbers came in, uh, and uh, they were weaker than the people filing for unemployment. First time filing for jobless benefits came in at 233,000, down 17,000 from the previous week, and lower than the 20... 240,000 estimate. Oh, yeah. 7,000 difference in what they, they estimated. But you go back before the COVID war, these are high numbers. That's right. It's all, a, it's all a fraud. Everything. And gold. Gold went up like today, uh, some 43 bucks. And it's back up to $2,426. Remember, just a couple of days ago when the market went down, it was in the four thousand, uh, the two thousand three hundred and uh, eighty range. So we remain very bullish on gold, and you saw what happened with Bitcoin. Again, you read the Trends Journal, 
well, it came out when the Bitcoin was diving. You know, it came out on, comes out on Tuesday. And uh, here's the cover, by the way, if you missed it. Market meltdown, crash coming. That's right. And they were all going, oh, Bitcoin's way down. It's not, no, it's not going down low enough. It hasn't had our breakout points yet. Their facts are all there. Facts are all there. This is not going away. Again, gold to us, we don't give financial advice, is the number one safe haven asset. And this is a golden year for gold, as we had forecast. It's up over $400, just about, about $400 an ounce since we made that forecast. That's right. So Bitcoin's more of a gamble, but it's a gambler's game. Export data exposes risk of Beijing's reliance on trade boosts. This is Financial Times headline. The uh, exports rose 7% and they forecast the Reuters poll 9.7%. Again, we have articles in Spotlight on China each week. What's going on, where it's going, and what to expect. Parts maker Continental cuts sales forecast amid slowing European vehicle production. There's a recession going on. It's going to be dragflation, declining economic growth, and rising inflation. EV safety concerns rise as car sparks huge fire. South Korean blaze prompts debate over where vehicles should be parked. And this is a, a Mercedes electric vehicle that exploded and uh, caused havoc in the way they, they it, it scorched another over 100 vehicles because they don't have outside parking lots. They got them under the, under the buildings and stuff. So they're very concerned about this. But again, what's one of your top trends for 2024? 20, EV go F you. That's right. And that's what we're writing about. Hybrid boot sales boost Honda's profit. Yep. Hybrid, not EV. EVs are big in China, but they're not taken off in Europe or the United States. Again, we've been writing about this since 2016. You know, the whole thing started to really start to boom. This, this is a, it, the batteries in 1800. Uh, invention. You know, you, you, it has to be better than this. If we didn't put, it's got like with, with President uh, uh, Eisenhower warned that the military industrial complex is robbing the nation of the genius of the scientists, the sweat of the laborers, and the future of the children. If we put our money into research and development, oh, we'd have all the clean air, clean energy, and clean everything. But we got a bunch of Pieces of low-life scum running the country near you. Teste di cazzos. Teste di cazzos. You got it? That's all they are. Arrogant little dicks with bad attitudes. Sneaker maker tempers outlook. Puma trend, its earnings outlook. Yeah, no kidding. Week after week, month after month, we've been putting all the sales data coming in from the major companies. It's all going down. That The markets are going up. It's total fucking... Yep. <laughs> Again, this is, this is the story... In the toilet paper record today. Again, they're bragging. Times company reports 13.6% jump in profits. High vacancies aside, office building values rise in New York. Oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's horse shit. It's toilet paper horse shit. The only thing this thing is good to is wipe up the shit with. A bullshit fucking story. Yeah. Because you read all the way to the end, two-thirds of the overall growth from 2020 to 2025 fiscal years 
occurred in one area. Two thirds in one area. How about the rest of fucking Manhattan? Hudson Yards, the new neighborhood of the skyscrapers on the west side that are ugly as fucking shit that fucked up the west side when you had beautiful views before that. That has attracted major corporations from other parts of Manhattan. Property values in Hudson Yards rose by $6 billion over that time period, according to the report. Ready? But in Midtown East, they fell by about 10%. And then there's the article that came out about this 23-story building in the mid-50s, 50th Street, Midtown, that in 2006, it sold for like, I think it was like $320 million. And last week, at our auction, they sold it for $8.5 million. Yeah. And then what they're not talking about with the, what do they have, the, uh, the vacancy rate? Vacancy rate, empty fucking buildings. Nobody there. 23.6%. How are you going to pay their loans? Again, the banking bust that's going to happen because of the office building bust, no one is talking about other than us. And that's why we're giving you what nobody else in the world is giving you. No one, no one anywhere in a magazine is talking about what we're publishing here. Total fucking bullshit story. Oh, and then how about all the businesses that depended on commuters? And what's your 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 occupancy rate? About 50.1%. So all the shoe make all shoe stores, all the small delicatessens, hairstyle, all go all going out. And oh, and the crime is rising nicely. Yeah. Not oh, not not by the numbers. Wall Street Journal, pay raises shrink as cooler job market gives bosses leverage. Isn't that nice? Gives the bosses as the fucking bosses as the ratio between CEOs and the plantation workers of slave land. It keeps expanding. Fuck the workers. Give them shit. I'm making this clear because the economy is going down. Over Some 70% of America's GDP is consumer based and consumers are going broke. We've been saying, again, we give entrepreneur opportunities. We don't tell you what to do. And we kept saying with this AI, they're going to be using more and more electricity. Utility shares boosted by power-hungry AI. So we put this information out there. So what you want to invest in, what you want to look in, now is becoming news. And this is from the Financial Times. Investors poured in $1.7 billion into the sector. And it's going to keep growing because AI... We own you. It's the world. KKR moves in on $800 million deal for WPP's PR firm stake. Again, the bigs are getting bigger. They own everything. KK, uh, KKR, how about KKK? You know, yeah. Because that's all it is. That's all it is. Again, three companies own what? 88% of the S&P 500, Vanguard, BlackRock, and uh, State State Street, or the street, or whatever the hell it is, State Street, this street, that street, no street. And an article in the toilet paper today, Trump dangles new tax cuts now for a larger voting group. And it's very smart. Trump is calling on end of taxing Social Security. Again, we keep saying over and over, that Harris is going to win the election, but the economy could change it, particularly a stock market crash. There's that old saying from Bill Clinton's 1992 campaign in the back, it's the economy, stupid. So that's going to be a big issue. And we're in a very volatile time right now. So we see Harris winning again, as we make very clear, there are too many wild cards and nobody could predict them whether they're man made by humans or, or uh, nature. The most recent and most expensive of Mr. Trump's plans, expansive is including income tax, to take income taxes off. It's very smart. 
Yep. They say it would cost the federal government $1.8 trillion in revenue over a decade. $1.8 trillion? How much should we give fucking uh, you know, the, the, the defense industry? What is that, two years of defense industry spending? Ten years as they steal the money from your Social Security? Fucking tax on Social Security is a crime. But they want to keep stealing our money. And this is the story that came out. FBI raids New York home of ex-UN weapons inspector and anti-war pundit Scott Ritter. Anti-war pundit. That's from Zero Hedge. Yep. And again, Trump's downplaying abortion in the election. And it's, it's a wrong downplay. It's going to be an issue. Former President Donald Trump said he believes he's become, abortion has become less of an issue. I think it's actually going to be a very small issue. Yep. Now, he's totally wrong. Totally disagree with him. Totally, 100%. All you have to do is look at the midterm elections. It's not what I think, what I want, what I wish for. It's what is. And this is egotistical, stupid shit. Because the Republicans, they, again, we wrote about in your Trends Journal back in, 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 when we called it, back in May of 2022. The elections were in November. We said the abortion is going to be a major issue. The anti-abortion stance of the Republican Party is going to cost them, and it did. And we said Kamala Harris was going to come out as the, quote, heir of the Democratic Party, and she was going there. It's all there, all right? And that's why you subscribe to the Trends Journal, rather than being one of those shitheads that subscribes to the toilet paper record. And now the latest poll just came out, Kamala Harris. And again, I just saw a poll from CNBC that said Trump was up, but this just came out. Kamala Harris has taken an 8% point lead over Donald Trump, according to a new poll by Marquette Law School between July 24th and August 1st. Harris leads among likely voters with 50% of the vote to Trump's 42. Again, it's too early to go by the polls, but we see what happens. And then on to the Ukraine, the Israel war, the genocidal war. Um, this is from Haaretz, just a break rundown. Four military personnel were wounded in an Israeli strike in Syria, central region. Uh, rescue services in Gaza reported list 15 people killed as Israel attacked two more schools. Day after day, week after week, schools, hospitals, churches, mosques, homes, Universities, bombs away. Syrian Observatory for Human Rights report that Israel attacked a military depot near an airport in the area of homes. CENTCOM announced the arrival of U.S. Air Force jets in the Mideast as a mitigation for escalation by Iran and proxies. The U.S. has warned, quote, there is a serious risk of consequences, end quote, to the economy and new government if it launches a large-scale attack against Israel, meaning the Iranian government. U.S. officials told the Wall Street Journal. So Israel could kill anybody they want anywhere, any place, but if anybody attacks, because Israel has the right to defend itself, Kamala Harris spews out that shit, the clown boy she brought in spews out that shit. They all spew out that shit. Nobody else has the right to defend themselves. Only the United States and Israel. And the leader of the Houthis said there will be a response to the Israeli attack at the port of Hodida last month, however you pronounce it. So that's just some of it. France, Germany slam Israel's Smutrich for commenting on starving Gazans to death. Yep, starve them to death so we could take their land because Israel, this is from New York Times Magazine headline, Israel's Netanyahu called occupied West Bank, quote, part of our homeland. All right, we've been saying it's genocide. We've been saying, oh, what's his name? Trump keeps saying any Democrat that votes for uh, Harris, any Jewish person that votes for Harris is, is, is a jerk or something like that. And we have all the data about his uh, son-in-law, Jared Kushner, 
saying how valuable the waterfront property is there in Gaza. And one article after another in the Trends Journal, how they're going to keep stealing the land for more, quote, settlements. And, is, and now Netanyahu is actually admitting it. He says that it's part of our homeland. We intend to stay to your homeland. Well, you're an Ashkenazi Jew. You're from like Eastern Europe. How did it become your homeland? Oh, I forgot. God gave you this land. Oh, yeah. Moses came down with Ten Commandments. It's right there. Chapter six, section eight. You know, yeah. Making up this fucking shit. That's all it is. Nothing more than bullshit. 700,000 years old remains of humanoid found. This just came out. The discovery in Indonesia strengthened the hypothesis of Homo flotationis, also dubbed Hobbit, stood at one meter tall, and its early ancestor was even shorter. 700,000 years ago? What the fuck are they talking about? Everything began when God gave Israel that land. Yeah, when they invented Judaism, like they invented Catholicism and all the other religions that were invented. 700,000 years. Oh, that's your land? That's your land? Hey, can't you go back further than that? What bullshit. More war from the war whores. Yep. Oh, I'm talking about Trump. Trump claims Iran will attack Israel tonight. New York Post, August 5th. I'm hearing they're going to be an attack by, attack by Iran on Israel. They're going to be attacked tonight. I'm telling you right now. So swallow my shit. Swallow my shit. I am a great spewer of crap just like all the rest of them. Want to make that really clear. They're all crap to me. Harris, all of them. Israeli media publishes video of soldiers allegedly raping Palestinian detainees. Can you imagine if this was the other way around? Well, it was in the Middle East eye. They're not in the, yeah, yeah. But again, they did report this on a number of American states. Here we go. Age says Harris opposes this from the Times of Israel, opposes Israel's arms embargo. An aide who spoke on the condition said of a nominee that Harris did not express a willingness to discuss an arms embargo and that the VP has made it clear that Israel has the right to defend himself. As the same fucking bullshit. Only Israel. I am so fucking tired of hearing this crap. Nobody else has the right to defend themselves. Only Israel. Israel does not have the right to murder anybody, anywhere, anytime. So as I said, they're all shit to me. So all you fucking shitheads that love your Trump and hate me because I can't stand the prick, I only say what the facts are. And I can't stand either of them not voting for either of them. So when I say he's going to lose, I'm telling you why. And when I say he's going to win, I'm telling you why. And you want to swallow his crap, swallow it. The same fucking crime syndicates been run this country for how many hundred years? Two parties. Parties. What else we got here? Huh. What's going on in Russia? Israel, uh, Ukraine's now attacking inside of Russia. We said they were going to keep ramping up the war. The United States sent in the F-16s. So if we don't have peace, we're going to die in war. And if you're anti-war, like I am, you get death threats. Oh, and Trump is so, by the way, so pro-Israel. Yeah, they could kill anybody they want. So it's going to keep getting worse. Here we go. Iran threatens to wipe out American military bases across the Middle East. This is from the Washington Free Bacon. Beacon, Bacon, Beacon, Greenberg, Iceberg. What's the difference? If the United States gets involved in any attack on Iran, have no doubt that the United States will be wiped out in Iraq and U.S. bases in the Persian Gulf region will be destroyed 
and those regimes that host the U.S. bases will be destroyed. Mohammed Morandi, an advisor to the Iranian nuclear negotiating team, said Wednesday in an interview. Again, keeps going on, keeps getting worse. And uh, if we don't have peace here, yeah, this is the bullshit. This is from the Turtle Paper. Pro-Palestinian protester is fined in German court for using banned slogan. The German court ruled that a protester who shouted from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free at a rally in Berlin in October, had condoned a criminal act and she was fined 650 euros. The lawyer said that um, this woman is an Iranian, of Iranian descent, said, from my perspective, the slogan should be never be part of a criminal investigation. If some people are unhappy with the phrase, they should be able to counter it with their own ideas. That is how a liberal democracy works. But instead, the German state in Berlin are raining down with repression on the pro-Palestinian movement. Yep. You're only allowed to swallow the shit from the government. And who are they? Teste di cazzo. That's all they are. And again, I strongly support Scott Ritter. I'm sorry what he's going through. He's anti-war. He's had lunch with him a couple of weeks ago. I'm good friends with him. I support what he supports. If if it's a crime to work for other country companies like Sputnik or 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 RT, and I used to be on RT all the time, by the way, back in the day, and Sputnik, I do interviews with them. So now I'm concerned about even doing that with them. Russian TV comes up here often, does interviews with me. But I'm only allowed, I'm not allowed to speak to Russian. And, and again, I used to be on Oprah, the Today Show, Good Morning America. Everybody, CNN all the time. They don't have me on at all. It's terrible what's going on. If we don't unite for peace, we're going to die in war. So please support us and occupy peace. And uh, be here on September 28th. Because we got maniacs in charge. And you could, this thing is going down big. It's going to go down fast. And the Israeli war is going to expand if we don't have peace. Thanks for tuning in. And don't forget to watch the interview I did last night with Judge Napolitano, Salenti and the judge. And don't forget the little teste di cazzos. Hey, politicians, who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I like Lindsey Graham. I like I like uh, I like Tom Cotton. I like I like I like Nancy Pelosi. You know, little Chucky e. Schumer is the guy for me. How can anybody swallow this shit? Thanks for tuning in.